I can play the fucking villain. Yeah, do it. Lexi, is this the part of the play where I steal? Ah. <laughs> Hey, I'm Dina. Look at my feet. My feet are straight ahead. You don't want to do that. Hip hop is this. One, two, three, four, hit. Ah, and ah. The, the more relaxed you are, that's what makes a hip hop. Boom, bam. Every time. Uh, uh. Or uh, uh. Start out just hitting it. Hitting it. Hitting it. This is what we call popping. Ah, straight. Ah, straight. Hit, hit, ah, ah. <laughs> And that's what makes it look like hip hop. Hell going on? What, what, what happened? You swallowed your phone after I asked to go through it like you be going through mine. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Where my phone at? It's over there. Luckily, you ain't like it before you downed it. And when the doctor pumped your stomach, I said I'll take that. And it's all there. It's all in there. Everything I need to see. Ah. Uh, so you, so you gonna stay with me? I mean, nah, not for real. I was just about to smother you with that pillow right there. But you up now. So I'm just dip. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, then, Sean. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. This is my only burger. Oh, yeah, I only okay. got one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have three kids, and, and they haven't had anything for three weeks to eat, and I was just wondering if I could make you, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You need it more than I do, so here you go. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you, and, and get God home bless. safe, okay? Uh, get home so safe, too. You, too. Yes. What'd you say, bitch? What? Oh. Hey, is everybody dead? Yeah, just put them all in the closet. Did you check your pulse? Yeah, this bitch is dead. Did you check her pockets? No. Damn! Damn. <laughs> Look at that. This bitch got money. Right? Hey, hey, smack her ass. Oh, bro. Smack her ass. I'm trying to see something real quick. <laughs> Was it soft? Yeah. Take a look at your feet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, because I'm ticklish. Get this bitch. I know y'all wanted a part two on people that got exposed on national TV. Let's go. So James Hydrid, who was a psychic, claimed that he could move pages in a book with just his mind. Y'all, this man traveled the whole world and he made hella money off of this <laughs> But one day, James Randi, who made a career out of exposing magicians, said that he wanted him to do it in front of him and he would pay $10,000 if he was successful at it. So James Hydro cocky ass was like, uh, yeah, let's do it. So James Randi put packing peanuts around the book to see if James Hydric was blowing the pages. It's not going to, uh, turn for you. No, it isn't. 
blame it on the studio lights. He said, it's too much lights. I don't know what's going on. That's why the page is not moving. Y'all remember that lying ass psyche that we talked about on last episode? Well, apparently, <laughs> bitch, there's a whole bunch of them out there. But the psychic was given a picture of a boy who was apparently missing. This said the little boy had passed away. Meanwhile, he's sitting right behind her. I understand you said you thought he was deceased. Yes, I believe he could be. I've got news for you. It might come as a shock, but he's very much alive. Oh, that's great. And he's actually standing right behind you right now. Oh, my goodness. This magician went on Vietnam's Got Talent. He poured acid in a cup, and he told the judges to mix all of the cups up so he didn't know which one it was. The first cup he drank out of was the one that had acid in it. Uh-uh! Hang on. He suffered second-degree burns in his mouth from doing that I wonder if his gums is still hanging by a thread, because acid is crazy. That's like drinking four Dr. Pebbles back to back. So a news reporter was in front of the camera and they were showing behind him how many people had died from climate change. And as you can see while he's talking, there's a whole bunch of bags behind him with people inside that are All of a sudden you see somebody moving in the bag, which exposed that nobody was really <gasps> behind him. I don't know, I guess the guy in the bag probably had to pee or something. So this wide-faced ass man called Peter Popoff had a product called Miracle Water. According to him, it would heal any financial worries and heal illnesses. The testimonials was very hard to ignore because you had people saying like this. I was healed of breast cancer. Received the Miracle Spring Water, she used it. She received a $13,222 check. If you called, he would send you a Miracle Water with some salt and basically he would instruct you to sprinkle the Miracle Water and the salt on top of a check. <laughs> It's stupid. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just stupid. Peter Popoff was exposed by James Randi. Turns out his wife was the voice of God. She literally was in his ear with an earpiece telling him who was who, what was what, what illness did they have, everything. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. No, she's right there on your right side. Okay, she lives at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson, I can see the angels of God all around your house. We wanted to ask Popoff a few questions. Reverend Popoff? Yes. Matt Mahar with Inside Edition. Could I ask you a few questions about your ministry? Hey, you're you, squeezing me. Sorry. How can you justify taking all of this money from people that are desperate? Can you just answer us one question? Can you just move away, please? Can, you want, would you talk to us later, please? No. girls in these videos was pretty fit. How come you don't care how you look? <laughs> I'll go get a membership for you, darling. Oh. But, but can I ask you a question? Yeah. And don't get offended. Why your tongue always white? Better yet, I got a better question. Why you like to sleep naked all the time? Because it's comfortable. Okay, well, I'm uncomfortable. You got the whole bedroom smelling like ass and hot Cheetos, darling. You want to know why my wife's sleeping in the living room? Well, guess what? That's why. Can I ask you another question? What, T? You know how you be on Instagram and you be like, oh, I'm chasing bags, I'm out here chasing money, do 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 what, what you mean by that? I mean, I'm in these streets chasing money. Chasing money. Well, do you mind if I ask how fast you be running? Because you're still broke. But don't get offended. Thank you. Sorry, guys. No, it's okay. Wait a minute. I'm going to show you how to pose because that wasn't. I'm going I'm to give Perfect. you a tutorial. Let's do it. I got you. Hold on. So, what you want to do, come here. Let me show you. So, you want to take your arm, take your arm like this, and you want to lean against the wall like that. Put your foot like that. You see this? Lift your foot and cross it over like that. 
real GQ vibes like this. Uh-huh. Then you take it. All that stainless steel shit, no, nobody do that no more. Do this, <laughs> foot like that, lean. <laughs> got it? Let's try it. it. Got it. Try let's it. Let's do it. Let's see if you got it. All right, let's go for it. So, hand, hand foot, foot, cross over, and lean. Ooh. Okay. GQ. Get the shot. Get the shot. <laughs> oh, one, two, three. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye. If you like scary movies, don't go nowhere because I got some crazy ass facts for you. Did anybody else notice in the movie Scream when uh, Stu had invited Tatum and Sydney to the party, when they had walked off, he did this like stabbing motion. I wonder if that was like a coincidence to um, him being the ghost face in the end of the movie. I bet y'all ain't noticed that in the movie Smile, you remember when Rose was texting Trevor? If you look at his contact photo, he's not smiling. But later on in the film, you'll see that he's smiling creepily. So in the movie Scream, y'all know they were supposed to originally film at the high school Santa Rosa in California. But when it got closer to the date of filming, the school read over the script and was like, uh-uh, this is spooky and too gory, what the hell? So they backed out. So the director of the film was petty as hell. You look at the ending credits, it will say, no thanks whatsoever to the Santa Rosa City School District Governing Board. <laughs> That's some petty ass <laughs> I do. Now, I still ain't seen the whole movie Candyman because it's just too scary for me. But I bet you didn't know that in the last ending scene, you'll see that he has bees in his mouth. And that's real bees. The only reason why he ain't swallowed the bees is because he had a mouth guard to keep him from going down his throat. Y'all remember that girl in the ring with the bundles, the black hair that was coming out the well and sh To make the girl look more spooky, they filmed her walking backwards, but then reversed it so it could look more creepy in the film. Side note though, these spooky cute little t-shirts are available on badbitchtees.com. <coughs> is there a problem, officer? Yes, there is. You're smoking inside of an operating vehicle. That's illegal. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. What the? What the? Seems like I'm gonna have to perform a field sobriety test. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and I need them answered thoroughly. Question number one If a bar of soap falls on the ground, is the soap dirty or is the floor clean? For sure. No, for sure. For sure. No, definitely. For sure. for sure. Question number two What would you prefer? This deli sandwich or these crab legs. Get out of the car! No, wait! Wait! It's police brutality! The black man. This movie is gonna be scary as hell. <laughs> Is everything okay, ma'am? I've been parked here for a little while. Yes, officer. I was just watching a scary movie trip. Do you like scary movies? Sure. Oh, okay. G give me give me a second. Hold on. Well, well, give, give me a second. Give me a second. No, nah, but for real, y'all, go to the group chat and let the squad know that y'all are going to the movie theaters June 16th. The Blackening is in theaters. It's the blackest, scariest, funniest movie in theaters right now. For real. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my people, boy. And you need to mind your business. You already came up with this. Dispatch, we got a black female bill like Tyler Perry. She just assaulted an officer. I'm gonna need some backup. Wait, Get out no, of the car. No, I'm gonna give you free tickets. Wait, wait. Ah! Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? I'm the owner of this house. Oh, it's Greg here. I met him here last time, and I, I didn't meet you before, and... Girl, I'm just gonna text him, my bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I thinking? Girl, he always tell me that I'm overprotective. I'm his big sister. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just protective. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Greg. Hey, T, you home early? 
Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah, I, I can eat. You want to come sit down and get comfortable? Okay. Here you go, baby. Oh, th thanks, babe. Yeah. It's a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. You know you need your protein. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I made you some dessert, too. My famous peach pan pie, made from scratch. Coming right up. Peach pan pie. Yep. Oh, of course, hit the edges just like you like. You looking for Pam? Hey, what she got right here? Nine one one was your emergency. Help! My daughter is stuck in the car. Have you tried opening the door? I can't. I locked my keys in the car. Have you tried telling your daughter to open the door? She can't. She's only seven months. <laughs> you locked your baby inside of a car. It was an accident. I just had to get into the store real quick. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Are you listening? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Put your hands behind your back because your ass getting arrested. Ah, uh, for real? When the employees at a fast food restaurant get your order wrong, what do you usually do? Hopefully not what this girl in Atlanta did. She got in her car and drove into the building. So apparently Popeyes forgot this woman's biscuits in her order. So she got in her car and literally hauled ass into the building. The biscuits are not that good, sis. BMW literally just came out with this color changing car. Imagine this car in a high speed chase. Oh, I just thought about something. Should we rob the bank? Okay. Well, I wanna do that. Should we? Because no, let her me out, hear me out. We can change the color while we on the freeway. Oh, good. See? <laughs> there is literally a kissing device all the way from China that allows you to kiss your bae from a distance. What? So basically, no matter how far bae is, you can share a kiss because the mouth has sensors inside. So the device mimics a real mouth. So it has the same movements and even has temperature. So hopefully your bae don't have hot ass breath. Cause I can't help you with that. Ah, uh, for real? Okay, so I'm gonna keep it real short and cute today. But I'm gonna give you a few Mandela effects that you think happened, but never did boo. Have you ever seen this emoji? I know I have, but guess what? It never existed. So was it GIF? Or was it Jiffy peanut butter? I know, I know, me too. We were all wrong. I've been calling it Jiffy my whole damn life. Is it Looney Tunes or is it Looney Tunes? It's Looney Tunes. And I know, for me, I remember it being, well, I guess it don't matter what I remember because it never was. Okay, so this is not a Mandela effect, but it is the uh-uh for real show, hey. A guy by the name of Francesco Lentini worked at the circus. This man had three legs, four feet, 16 toes, and, can I say it? I'ma just say it. Two Ah, uh, for real? See, just when I was about to book my ticket to China, something just gotta come ruin the day. And this time, it's worms. 
Warning, if you have a weak stomach, you may want to click out. Oops, never mind. <laughs> My bad. So yeah, it was raining worms in China. Everybody had to carry around umbrellas. This story is crazy. This man was rescued from the Caribbean Sea after spending 24 days stranded in the middle of the damn ocean. His name was Elvis Francos. Y'all, this man survived in the middle of the ocean just having a bottle of ketchup and garlic powder. So he took ketchup and garlic powder, put it in a bottle, shook it up, put some water in it, and um, he survived off that for 24 days. So just when he was about to lose hope, he had enough energy to write help on a boat. And that's how the Caribbeans found him. Does anything look weird about these people to y'all? Nothing? Well, hell, I guess the creator who created these people did a good job. A developer on Twitter created a fake party with fake people and they look weirdly real. But if you pay close attention, you'll see that everybody has about 2,000 teeth. Yeah, and what world does that happen? But I don't care. I think that's dope.